Hi, it's Will. Uh, today I'm gonna show you some other examples using the Zoe CLI. Let's think about the case where you don't know how to do some function using the Zoe CLI, or at, for example, there are no solutions yet implemented through Zoe CLI. You, you still have a way to do that only from your machine, only from your desktop. And, and for those cases, we are going to use here the ZOSMF. For those that who doesn't know the ZOSMF, it is on a web application. And it's running on the ZOS in a starter task. And it provides for us some functions. And what we're going to do, we're going to use the workflows. The workflows, they are some uh, some tasks that will be executed by the system. You prepare them before, and they are they are ready to be executed as needed. And uh, you can create them through the workflow editor. So you can uh, create a new workflow from. Uh, zero, just filling uh, the forms, passing whatever you want to do, or you can create an XML file, and I will show a uh, Hello World XML here with some just the basics and from where you can uh, start, from where you can begin. Uh, at the beginning of this file, we are going to pass that this is an XML, and we are using a coding UTF-8. And then we have a container, uh, so uh, as all XMLs, uh, the default is we are starting here our tag and we need to close that. So everything that is inside is part of this workflow. And uh, here we have some pre-settled information. Workflow setting info, we are passing that we, are, we don't want uh, to prefix our variables, we are going to use variables here. We have here the workflow info where we pass some information about this, it identifies the workflow, some attributes, so it's not a parallel steps, we just have one here, but there are cases for to gain performance that you can submit multiple steps to be executed at the same time. We pass some information about our workflow, if it's is callable only on our system or uh, on all the sysplex. We are passing uh, a briefing description, a name, uh, it can be passed the vendor, so here just passing that is my example. And then we can define some variables, so for each variable that I want to uh, describe here, I will repeat this these tags, and I'm defining a variable here with the name file, and the scope is instance. It can be instance or global. It depends of the level of the workflow where it refers. And visibility private. It's just information. It, it's just it's not a, a. This is optional. You can use if you want. And we are passing some information about this variable, so a label, an abstract. So when you are using uh, the web page, uh, the workflow editor, uh, it will show here for us the, the, the details about the variable. And we can categorize our uh, variables, and we say the type of this variable. So this, this is going to be a string, and I'm passing a default value of slash. So uh, on this hello world example, we're gonna display some information about the director on the USS. So if it's not passed any uh, any value for the input, it's gonna display the root. And then we have the steps to be executed. We need to give a name for this step. So I'm just passing here as sub job. This is our hello world step. It will issue the DF hyphen PKV on the director provided. Uh, I'm saying that we have a variable inside of our commands inside of this step to be used. Uh, we can pass the weight of this if we have multiples. 
we need to auto enable this because we are going to execute this from our scripts and we have the template to be executed you can use uh, in file in, in line template or in our case we are passing in a separate file and this file is here so let's suppose you have multiple commands to be executed you can pass off them here or this this facilitates for us that we can just change the command here and always when we are using this kind of uh, shell jcl it is ready for us, we just change the files here in the comments. <coughs> and we have here a vars file where we are passing uh, the input for the variables. So, if we look here on our workflow panel, this is not defined yet. And we are going to use the scripts that I have prepared here. So there are some scripts, they are just executing Zoe CLI comments and we are we have a script for each of these files to update on the all part, so the LPXML, LPCMD, LPVAR it's gonna use the Zoe files to upload to our uh, USS file and we are passing this as binary we need to send this as binary, otherwise it will be uh, converted during the transmission and USMF will not understand the type it will not match with what we are passing here on the XML encoding and then we have here the scripts to create the workflow to list this workflow and to start this workflow so let's let's try it I will open here my terminal and first let's upload this so npm run of xml I will upload all the files from my machine to the LPAR xml cmd and the vars okay now we have all we need on the LPAR and let's create this workflow So if I refresh here the page, the hello world workflow is here. And if you go inside it, it's still with 0% completed. If we list it, okay, we see our variables. We see that this is ready for execution. And there aren't any status here on the automation stats because it wasn't executed yet. So if we start this, to start, let's take the workflow here, because on this version we are still needing this. There are an option to execute the workflow name, but we are using here the key of it. I'm saving, and let's start it. So workflow started. And if we refresh it, it is completed. If we go inside here, we can even check some information about this. For example, our message log, JCL, this message. And since this is an USS command, let's see here the answer. So this is where our director is mounted. Uh, so let's do another test. If we display here again our workflow, we're gonna see the automation status changed. And if we want to uh, change the input, so let's change it to, to the mm, ETC. Let's see if we have this. Okay, I will upload the var again. And I'm gonna go to recreate the workflow. We, we need to take it the new key and let's list it
You see, it is set it, and we have a new value for the file variable. And let's start this. And let me refresh it. Oh, okay. I need to take the, the newest one because it changed the pointers. So, there we go. Since they could change it. And we take here the status and a new file coming. Great. And hopefully you like it. Uh, the focus of this wasn't to show uh, about uh, scripting, but uh, this function about Zoe workflow and using the workflow in ZOSMF. And also you can prepare any script in the language you want and automate mo mo many, many tasks through the workflows, for example. You can even provisioning a new kicks region in your system just through the workflows. Or you can create your own workflow to deliver a new product, anything you want. Thanks.